Okay, here we go again. I'm back talking about poop, 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 poop. So let's just share this stream for the people. For the people. Here we go again. All right. <clears throat> That's shared. Okay. So, where were we? Uh, put that on the top. Hmm. Where is it? Oh, it's on top. Yeah. Right. <coughs> so here we have the uh, the first first level of the dungeon or the underground keep of Baron Francis Petty, the man whose uh, keep above ground is constantly being destroyed by dragons so he wants to go underground we've made the uh, first layer as sort of like a work in progress they needed to establish the basis and the cornerstones of the keep on the first la layer on the first level and then we're gonna go and design the second level which would be the level as the Baron really wanted it. So, we have the stairs leading down, so let's move over here. I'm gonna take some space. Um, uh, let's make an... No, let's do this. Okay, so obviously when you're entering the domain of the Baron from upstairs, the first room you would want people to step in is the meeting hall or the throne room. So that's what we're going to do now. So... um. So basically, uh, this will be this will be the throne room, the first room on the second level. We're gonna have the stairs from the first level lead up straight into the meeting hall. Uh, <clears throat> the, this room would be the most elaborate of of the of all the rooms in in the keep this would be <clears throat> this would be the actual like show of power show show of wealth and where the baron would meet with his uh, subjects people living in his lands his uh, generals his uh, allies whatever so <clears throat> I was thinking this would be more like a almost a church like building. Um, he would have uh, mm, think like a church altar, basically. This is a very small, very, very small brush indeed. That just a little bit over there. Make the brush a little bigger. Right. That's what I'm talking about. Um, <clears throat> so, I'm just gonna 
sketch this out like really really uh, coarsely so here's a uh, a set of rising stairs so he needs to be elevated above his uh, subjects here's some nice pillars some railing and small side stairs leading up he would have his throne over here this would be like very decorative like I said like a like a chapel altar there would be a fresco maybe a picture of him big tapestries whatever um this part of the stairs maybe it's like cut from the middle and it's actually there's like a secondary level like a balcony where people can uh, spectate him watch him and there are the spiraling stairs at the end all right this is just gonna be doodling because i'm using a mouse not a not a actual pen uh, there'll be a road of row of seats for any like public things uh, courts and stuff like that few bigger tables ready for like important guests and whatnot <clears throat> all right um then uh, <clears throat> then obviously the baron would always come to this place through his own entrance a wide corridor which is not black and there's a uh, small resting area here and the long corridor because we want to go back and back under the original level I wonder if we're a bit too close to comfort here hmm let's just take all of this okay <laughs> Put it up back over there. I'm just gonna. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Don't mind me. I'm just doing stuff. So let's move up a bit lower over here. And we can just delete all of this shit. Here. Okay, right. <clears throat> okay, where were we? So the Baron's gonna have his own entrance. Uh, this this part will be like an open area. We'll have some benches, some comfy sofas. Some tables, 
maybe a bookshelf. This is a place for the Baron to like have his last minute words with his subjects before he goes into the public domain where he's going to make his announcement uh, announcements. Um, uh, the reason that I left all this empty space here is I'm going <laughs> to get back to it because there's a lot of stuff in there. So, okay. So we have the the throne room the fir being the first uh, room in the second layer where all the people, all the guests will be coming in. And the Baron will have his own exit here. Uh, along the exit, like right about here, would be a council room. We would have, imagine like Game of Thrones, the small council meetings. We would have a big, big uh, table, a lot of chairs, uh, bookshelves, uh, tables, a pair of doors, some nice tapestry. This, this is a place where he'll hold his private meetings. So it's going to be fancy, but uh, very straightforward. All right. And at the end of the corridor here, we will start building the, law, the Baron's own living area. So this will be all all barren all day and so it's gonna be a big big area we're gonna have big uh, sleeping chamber a a study for the Baron, and then we're gonna have the uh, the pompous element of him having his own underground garden, because every every uh, good leader needs his own, you know. I gotta have this thing to keep me entertained. <laughs> so let's make some markings over here. <clears throat> so the royal bed chambers, a huge bed, uh, maybe a side table, some bookshelves. This is for sleeping and sleeping only. <clears throat> then we will have his study. Uh, there is probably a small table with some chairs. Again, for more private, more personal meetings. Uh, a bookshelf. A work table. Um, more books, more stuff he can display all over this place. And this will obviously have a window to the underground garden. So <clears throat> while he's working, he can still have a great view of this elaborate magical underground garden that he will have built. Uh, in the garden, we'll probably have a fountain, because people love fountains. Some benches around the fountain. Like so. Uh, then we're gonna put some color in. 
some brushes, All right? More flowers. And this is like the exemplary thing that a leader would like. I want to have a garden in my keep. But sir, there is no sunlight. I don't care. <laughs> so this is this is going to be a very serene place. Uh, it will be, obviously, it could have like a uh, really high ceiling, maybe to maybe like a, a dome above ground to let sunlight in. But I'm thinking more like it's it's magical. They they there's like a a permanent daylight spell or something in there to keep the garden uh, growing. Um, so there's doors here. There's probably gonna be a door here, door here, a door between the uh, sleeping quarters, the bed chambers, and the working room or the study. A side door for the king, or, I mean the baron. And obviously, we're gonna need some sort of place again for all the shit that the baron has. This will be again his. Um, his own storage space for clothes and stuff. And then, again, the most important part of every dungeon, the privy for the Baron. So this whole area is just for the Baron. He's got, he, he can be alone, in private, he has his bedchambers, his studies, his beautiful garden. From there, the servants will come and get him if there's something to be done in the uh, throne room or in the small council chambers. So this would be enough for just the Baron. But obviously, a Baron will have his servants. So we'll continue on with that in mind. So, uh, obviously the Baron's quarters will be guarded. So there's a guard uh, room right there. Uh, it's going to have... Um, it's going to have, a again, a sentry's table, maybe a bed or two, some books, and here would be a window or an open uh, archway into the corridor. So everybody everybody going to see the Baron would have to go through here. Uh, then the Baron needs to have his own pro uh, personal servants close by. So Right over here, we'll have the servant's quarter. All right. And we're going to have butler or the chambermaid. With his own um, own storage space, he'll probably have at least two personal servants. So there'll be another room here, with another storage here. So this will be just for the Baron's own personal servants. We're gonna have a door here, door here, door here, door here, a bed, 
A table. Again, bookshelves. These are, these are just, you know, standard or living practices for the servants to have their own private time. Uh, maybe, maybe even because these servants would be very important for the Baron. Maybe they'll have their own privy. Because why not? There's... <laughs> when you think about the logistics of living underground, just think about it. When you're living in a castle, the privies will be at the at the edges of the, the building. So everybody just takes a dump and it will flush down the side of the castle. Or they'll have a, a privy for the common people outside. But this is underground. You need to have stuff for, you know, your daily, daily needs, so to say. So, um, let's go back to the, the, um, hmm, this one, the, the, uh, council meeting room, okay? So, imagine you're a guest of the Baron, you will arrived here, uh, then they will say you will meet with the Baron in the council room. They, will, they would not take him to the same entrance as the Baron, they will have their own corridor up here. Uh, there's gonna be a guest chamber with a corridor leading. So now we get those nice corridors that we need in a dungeon. Uh, so here we have basically a guest lounge would be the proper term. These guys need to sit here, wait for the Baron there's probably gonna be a magical fireplace here. Uh, again, more books, more tapestries, more all this sort of stuff. So we have a side door here, door here, door here. Right. So now if you're a guest, you can uh, get to meetings with the Baron from the main hall from from this uh, throne room okay so now we have uh, accommodations from the temporary guests the Baron himself and Baron's personal servants right food we need food so we're gonna continue on building here uh, we're gonna start getting a lot of uh, people living here. We're gonna have guards, servants, council members, etc. So we're just gonna have, and because this these places will be serving food, also they will be serving the Baron food in his private quarters. So we need a food prepping area close to these because these are the VIP areas, right? So we're well, that's not what we're gonna what we're gonna do. So we're gonna have a big dining room right here. Maybe overlapping a bit with this one, right? Uh, there's gonna be an entrance door here. Again, if the guests are here, maybe they aren't going to the council meeting, maybe they're going for a feast, right? So this is where the feast will be. It could be held in the throne room, right? But this is a more... Uh, uh, more practical to have it here. 
so we're gonna have like a feast setting long tables all over here with chairs everywhere there's room for entertainment for a service oh yeah hello um right so that's where we will serve the food we need somewhere to prep the food so we're gonna have we're gonna have a big kitchen a big pantry and once again I'm thinking the chef will actually live very close to the kitchen again because he needs to be constantly moving in and out so you know so we'll have the kitchen door will be here very wide door there will be prepping tables for the food uh, maybe an oven more prepping tables, a big table in the middle, a door to the pantry. This is again gonna be a bunch of crates, bunch of shelves, bunch of maybe there's another room for where they dry their meat. Let's draw a chicken bone drumstick. All right. <clears throat> so now we get the kitchen over here, the pantry, all the food comes straight from the kitchen to the serving area. Uh, there could be another room between this, like where they plate the meals, where they do the banquet ready for it to be strolled out, but I'll, I'll have it this way. Uh, well, we need to get to the chef's quarters here. So there's going to be a corridor right here, and this is where we can build our service members or uh, staff um, quarters. Also, another important thing is, while well, we wanted to have the Baron's area, the bar wing of the... Uh, Mm, Want to get famous? No. Uh, so, we want to have the Baron's living quarters a bit separate from the rest of the place. But again, we need to get food from the, from the kitchen to the Baron himself. So, there will be a locked and secure... Uh, service door right there and uh, this will always be guarded it's probably gonna be locked maybe trapped uh, at no point do they want the Baron to be paranoid about somebody sneaking in from next to his bed chambers into his uh, quarters but the food will need to be brought in somehow right all right next up on the uh, priority list the captain of the guard will have a big room uh, then the rest of the guard and the military power residing in the castle will be sharing a large quarter quarters um, so this would be, <clears throat> and we can have door here, door here, door here, and another door, because if there's an emergency, we need two doors for people to flow out. All right. So the captain of the guard, again, this is an office space and a living space for one man. 
who will uh, have all his stuff here. Maybe there's a tactical map, maybe they're in a war or something. But this is not the place for having such conversations. Uh, this place will be a very militaristic. We will have bunk beds. Uh, maybe a table for the crew. So this is for the your general guards. You can have as ma as many beds here as you need. Uh, so at the moment, it with those numbers, it would house uh, sixteen guards. So we would have sixteen plus one as the uh, as the uh, number of guards. Okay. Um, let's see what we need next. Well, there's still a lot of staff to maintain this underground layer. So we will have to continue this a bit. Uh, like up to here. And let's have it go down this way for the rest of the servants and maybe have this part be like a um, their facilities for keeping themselves orderly we'll have a big uh, bath and bathhouse type of thing again most important place of the entire place the uh, servants privy there will be a lot of holes on the <laughs> holes on seats we're gonna have a lot of poop there's always gonna be poop poop is most essential when building a dungeon um, so let's color this a bit We're gonna have again. I'm thinking the Baron is a uh, very, is uh, a very kind man. Maybe they have like an indoor pool, like a like an underground spring or whatever. I'm thinking like Japanese onsen type of stuff. We'll have baths here. Uh, maybe they add a sauna. That would be interesting. Uh, this is just the privy with stalls for all the service staff. Uh, then we'll have the servants' quarters. Again, the quarters need to be somewhat open and big for... Imagine you're stuck underground with the Baron you need to have a little bit of your own space so we'll have uh, these are really just like small rooms for l sleeping purposes and for having your own private uh, sleeping area. There's few bigger ones for the slightly more important service members. So we'll have the servants living here. They all have their small, small, small rooms. But at the end of their quarters, they'll, there will be a, um, a common area tables, chairs, sofas, again, something to read, uh, a side table, for drinking, whatever, when they have their free time. Um, <clears throat> okay, so we still need a bit more, a bit more stuff. 
Uh, <laughs> I don't uh, no no well um well I mean this could work for a lot of different type of games. This is basically just for DNT, but you you could use this for many other purposes. Um, Fallout Shelter is actually a very, um, very fun mobile game. So, right, where were we? So, right, we have a place for temporary guests. It's right here. We have the wing for the Baron. We have the dining area. Uh, food is being made, the guards can live here, and the staff can live here. But what about the guests who are staying? People travel a long way. We need to have a quarter for <clears throat> the, the guests of the Baron. <sighs> Thank you. Um, <clears throat> so... Again, this is the place we enter when we arrive to the Baron's Keep. So, if you're a guest, you will be taken to the guest quarters. So, I'm just gonna draw this. I'm, I'm just gonna rotate it into place. We'll have a slight variation on the stuff here. So, we're gonna have... Uh, door leading into this this corridor over here um, and we'll set up the guest quarters in this area these rooms need to be bigger because they might be very important guests they will have servants of their own uh it needs to be it needs to be an entertaining place to live again the baron needs to show his uh craftsmanship the how well his people can do stuff so we'll have big room set up like this so this is like, okay, uh, what's going on here? Don't worry. We'll just fill in. We'll just fill in this area. Right. So now, now it looks like a mess, but okay, let me explain. So <clears throat> we're going to have a corridor for the guests to arrive in the guest wing. Uh, in the guest wing, there are a lot of uh, rooms, all situated so that the guests can uh, socialize. Uh, we, the guests can socialize with each other on this open area. Thank you. Well, yes, if we're in the middle of social distancing we need to keep ourselves occupied we need to uh, give ourselves something to do and this is again these are just for for ideas this is pretty much brainstorming on the fly uh, so let's have again like a common area for the guests to sit down and ramble on about how poor the service is and whatever. Uh, so, <clears throat> now we're going to need to have food brought to the guests, right? Also, if there were some food or drinks served in the main hall, we need to connect those. So, the best way to do that is to have the first elongated random corridor of the dungeon which would be like this so the food would be brought from here 
there probably gonna be a doorway here as well so we can use this right so let's have a corridor from here as well now that now the staff can come straight from their living quarters either to the main hall or to the dining area or whatever <sighs> um what are we missing what's missing here that's right the guest also need to poop we're underground there is need needs to be more shitters so we're going to have a grand old time we're going to have the guest lavatories up in here with a corridor leading there right oh yeah sauna we're gonna have a sauna right here boom bathhouse sauna done um, <clears throat> so it's starting to look good it's starting to look good um, but we're not done yet oh no we're not done yet so this will basically be under this level again this was the level <coughs> where we started the construction this was the level where the Baron first lived but this is the level that he wants to showcase the guests come all the way from here to this area we have the Baron's own chambers his uh, servants uh, the place for meetings guest chambers uh, guest living quarters staff quarters guard rooms bathhouses so the baron can work eat sleep shit and bathe the baron needs his own bathhouse that's right from the garden right here all right <clears throat> So Baron has everything. Uh, the servants eat, sleep, poop, wash up. Right. The guards have the same. The guests have the same. Okay, we are running into the issue of there's, again, a lot of poop. But we don't want servants carrying poop around in the corridors, stinking up the place. No, no. So we have the waste pit on the first floor, so we'll use that. Um, so if this is here, then the waste pit would be approximately like right over here. So we need to connect all of these places again with the waste pit. Ten in there. Uh, all of this place will be cleaned. Cle unclean. All right. We need to worry about the waste. Worry about the waste. We need to go over here. Unclean. Again, so we get these nice uh, natural ex excavated tunnels for stuff to go down in the future. So this is basically a service tunnel with... Uh, there would probably gonna be a natural stairway leading from here to which would end up like hereabouts ok 
Okay, so this goes down. And this goes up. Now we're managing the waste. We've finished the uh, layer, the actual keep. So this will be called the keep of the Baron. <clears throat> so this this layer is the keep of the Baron. <clears throat> but let's think. the there's two things we can add to this and we're going to add that by going down uh because let's imagine they have a uh they're they're going to have some sort of um trials happening in this main hallway this throne room right Somebody will be judged and punished. So where are they going to take him? So what I'm thinking is we're going to have a... Let's see. We need a stairwell leading downstairs where well, there there will be an actual dungeon to keep all the prisoners um so from here the the judge would be taken through this corridor and down these stairs to the galley or the the um the dungeon right down to the dungeon we go from here but also the Baron is now staying indoors underground all the time that's gonna that's going to be really stressful he's again gonna be paranoid uh, he will have to have <coughs> his escape route just in case to the poop tunnels but also he will start to lose his mind he will start to lose his mind and he will start uh building a third secret floor with a secret entrance from the garden to his secret lair where he will do all sorts of black black magic stuff uh maybe summon demons do secret contracts double in necromancy or whatever so now we get two more entrances downstairs and yeah that's it so we've gone from this to this and now we get to have two one more layer that has the dungeon where they keep the prisoners and the secret layer of the baron where he'll probably do some evil schemes with said prisoners but this is where we are and that's where i'm gonna end it today so that's all if you enjoyed good if you didn't good just i wanted to make something to entertain myself entertain people who have too much free time on their hand and to make a dungeon that makes sense all right all right that's it goodbye